Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel Just a quick chat while I eat my apple. A few people still asking, what's the best scan tool? What's the best scan tool? What scan tool should I use? Okay. When you say scan tool, we want to make sure we're talking about scan tools, not scan toys. There's scan tools and scan toys. It's a bit like diagnostics. There's diagnostics, and then there's guessnostics, and there's swapnostics, okay? That's another subject, but just quickly, diagnostics, that's where, you know, you diagnose something, you know, you work out what it is, follow a process, check this, check that, step by step. Guessnostics is you just guess, you go, oh, it's probably that, and you, whatever you do, right? Or you swapnostics, where you go, oh, I've got no idea, so I just keep swapping every part on the car till I work out what fixes it. Well, scan toys are like your scan gauges, your auto fix 3210s. I'm not saying they're bad products, I'm just saying they're toys, right? You know, you've got your dashboard, you can look at your things on there, handy things to read. Um, they can read and clear codes. Every car should have one. I've said that before, so I'm not going to say that again, except I just said it again. Sorry. But when it comes to scan tools, a tool's a tool, like, you know, a quality tool. Um, What's the best one? Well, that's a can of worms, isn't it? You know? So, look, if you've got money and you're a professional where you want to be, sorry, like I said, eating an apple. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, they said, so apple it is. I reckon there's a snap on one. It's a smaller unit. I can't remember. I'm not the expert on it, the full detail, but. There's a snap-on unit for about three grand you can get it for, right? And the snap-on guys are probably going to hate it because I said that, but I'm pretty sure you can get it for about three grand. Might be a bit more than that, whatever. Whatever they want to charge you. But they tell me it does exactly what the other ones do. It's just a smaller version, smaller screen, whatever. So if you want to invest three grand or so into something, that's probably a good value for money price for a industrial scan tool that's what it is you know for a you know kind of professional scan tool is that what you mean when you say what's the best scan tool because that's kind of like the best and best value for money if you want the best best maybe is it the snap on one for 10 grand you know the full size thing whatever it is or there's other brands you can spend more and whatever right and there's anything in between so I, i'm not a scan tool expert maybe someone that works at bursons or repco probably not them but let me think you know who, who would know who you need someone that sells all the different scan tools that knows about them, don't you? It's not me. I don't know. Okay? I've used lots of different things, you know. WDS, Worldwide Diagnostic System, whatever the case may be. So, look, if we're talking about the Toyotas, then the word on the street is Techstream. Techstream. So, Techstream is a Toyota program that many, 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 many years ago... Um, bit like um, Lassard on Police Academy, many, 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 many years ago, um, someone obviously copied it, and you get off eBay for about 40 bucks on a disc that looks kind of like that, that's my one from many, many, many years ago, and that's the lead that came with it, okay, so that's what you get for your 40 bucks delivered to your door, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, I don't know, depends who you buy it off and who you trust, and is the disc going to work, is the lead going to work, I don't know, but small investment. If you want something for your vehicle, a proper scan tool, then you need a laptop. I'm not the expert on it, um, but they tell me that, you know, you need older laptops, but then other people seem to say, nah, you can get it working fine on the newer one, you know, whatever, Windows 7 or whatever. Anyway, whatever, right? So you need to work that out. If you're good with computers and whatever, then maybe you can get this working. Some people have trouble getting it going, right? So, it could be a bit of a pain for me. Mine sat there for years. Then I got the laptop out, put it in. Couldn't get it working. While I'm working on people's cars, a few clients, kind of like, you know, experts in the field, or maybe not, because a lot of them couldn't get things going either. Then, the expert of the experts was here, right? can't tell you his name. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. And I can't do that, so I can't tell you his name. CDC, 
right? He put a different version. He put his, what he did, I think, did he have his disc or something like that? Or did he have it on a card? So you don't even need this. He put his version that works for his computer onto my computer and then it worked with my lead and I used it and it worked and no worries. And I just found it painful because I'm carrying a laptop around. I'm not going to use that on cars. And Also the refresh rate, rate was slow. So look at things like fuel pressure. No good because you know, when I'm checking fuel pressure, I need to do things like not only just look at it at idle and certain, it needs to, I need a fast refresh rate. I need to rev it up and down. I need to see how fast the target fuel pressure is and the actual fuel pressure, how close it is behind it, how fast it reacts, right? Now, we didn't happen. Not with my, I don't know if it's the software or the computer or what. I'm not a computer guy, right? I'm just an Apple dude, right? Apple, get it? Samsung as well, but we didn't really sing a good song, so I just stick with apples. Um, <laughs> not really good jokes either, but look, to answer your question, right? Text room, that's what it is, you know. There's people going, oh, you know, oh, what's. I haven't got time to tell you what text stream is. Text stream is that. That's text stream, right? It's a software program. Try this Google text stream. Um, have a look on eBay, search text stream. Have a look on my channel, search text stream. You might find a video or two on it, I'm not sure. Um, so, that is a scan tool though. It's a tool. It shows all the parameters you can read. Um, you can do lots of things with it. You know, just about anything you can do with any other professional scan tool. As far as I know, you can do it. Every now and then, people have trouble getting it working. Every now and then, people have trouble trying to... Uh, getting it working again after all it used to work but whatever I don't get involved in scan tools or text room people ask what I use well intelligent tester tool and I just want to say there's a video on that you can get the cheap Chinese ones right and they're sort of four or five hundred bucks more or less and that can be just junk, mate. And you know what some of these companies overseas are like dealing with? If you spend two, three, five, ten, twenty bucks, whatever your budget is, whatever your don donation is to China, and you don't get your money back, if you do good and if you don't, I'm not saying they're bad, you know, some of them, they send you rubbish and they send you a refund, right? Some people keep the rubbish, don't get a refund. You send rubbish to everyone. If you've got to refund half the people, you're doing all right, right? So, whatever. But when you've paid $500 and it doesn't work, and then they don't want to refund you because it's $500, eh, not so good. So I'd advise against the cheap scan tools unless you're getting them from a reputable supplier, you know who they are, that they're going to give you a refund or something, uh, you know, as long as you're prepared to waste your time and chase that up. But again, you're still investing like 500 bucks to something that, unless you're a professional, you know, you don't need something like that. But And to buy genuine stuff, you know, you've got to buy it through Denso, whatever, you know what I mean? And I don't even know if you can get them anymore, so... Whatever. That doesn't matter. Chinese copies, you can try one if you like. If I had to buy another scan tool, I'm in the industry, so I'd probably go buy the Snap-on one for three grand, right? You know, that's what I think, to my knowledge. So let's have a look in the comments, see what you've got. What scan tool do you use? What does it owe you? Are you happy with it, right? Provide a bit of feedback for everybody else. Um, and tell me about Techstream. If you've got Techstream, works fine for me, never had an issue. Took me a bit of fiddle around to get it started, worked fine ever since. Took me a bit of fiddling to get it going and it still messes me around every now and then. Does my head in. I'd be interested to see the feedback and more so other people can look at the comments and see what the feedback is on other scan tools. Um, I think that's it guys. That's the best scan tool. Back to scan toys. You know, we like the AutoFix 3210 because it's a software, it's an app and a device that looks quality, that is designed to work together. For me, they work pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, having them plugged in the vehicles you get in, if I want to open up the dashboard, it opens up, it connects, it works well. If there's a code, it reads it, it clears it. Uh, tell me what I want to know, except for transmission temperature. So we want transmission temperature. We're hoping there's going to be an app update. Um, we've asked nicely, um, bada bing. So look, a scan toy is definitely worth having because it's not something you've got to carry with you all the time. It's an app on your phone, which you've got all the time. The Bluetooth unit, whatever, can be plugged into your ODB plug and it's there all the time, ready to go. 
as soon as you get an engine light, you can open the app, read it, scan it, screenshot it, keep a record of it, do your research, whatever you want, clear it, hopefully you can clear it and drive away. That happens a lot of the time, which is why I say everybody should have one. Um, got to keep it in this apple, it's getting brown bits on it, sorry. Um, just getting towards the end of the day and I'm waiting for a customer to come and drop off a car. Because I am done for the day, I've had enough. You know, I've got plenty to do, but I've had enough. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to relax and have an apple and have a chit chat with you while I wait. So there might be another video while I'm eating this apple, but this one's just about done. Um, yeah, in my cars, Auto Fix 3210. I've also got a scan gauge in one of them because I was able to get the DPF countdown. Call it the percentage if you like. The DPF count counts up to 100, then does a burn back down to low numbers again. Um, I wanted to see that. Um, off topic, but you know, we've got customized mode on that vehicle as well, so that shows us when it's doing a burn and it, it changes the, the, the use of what's the word again? I always can't find the words that I want. Um, changes the use, changes the function of the button a little bit. It does, it works a little bit differently in customized mode. So it's up to you if you want to do that. Just go to your local dealer and ask them when you're getting a service. Um, and the other thing was it shows, the scan gauge shows transmission temp. So this is the big positive on the scan gauge. Um, I'm told there's other things. Look, you need to do your own research on that. These sorts of questions are best asked. That's why we have Facebook groups and pages. You go on Oz Prado Crew, you say, hey guys, I want to read my transmission temp. What do you got? Please include a photo. And hopefully you'll, there's your research done. There's no point asking me things that I don't know or that's kind of like the general, you know. You're better off asking a thousand Prado owners how they read their transmission temp, not kind of not me. I can tell you my experiences and I do and I hear from people as well, so that's good. But just think some things are better off asking the group than asking on a comment on the YouTube channel, right? You can ask the questions like, give me ideas for videos and all that. Happy to help out there, but sometimes it's like that question, you just need, you're totally off topic. It's not something that I'm just gonna make a video on. You need to just go specific into one of those groups we've got. And what, what groups you say, what groups? Here is a piece of paper, it's just here somewhere. Here we go. They're all over the genre. Well, I've got them ready these days, right? Those groups there, right? You want to get, check those pages from the top, right? Pages. And get in those groups. Pick the one you like or the two or the three or whatever you want. And ask your questions in there. There's heaps of awesome people that are usually happy to help. You're going to get at least a few, if not a lot of responses now or later. Sit tight. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. Turn that bell on. Give us a thumbs up if you've got something out of that. That's TechStream right there. If you like, it's not really. TechStream is a software program, but that's kind of like what you get. 40 bucks, butter bing, eBay. Ciao for now.